How's it going, APA fans? It is General Tario bringing you the APA low tier week one match versus Bob and the Yukino Frost Moths. And we got a pretty interesting week one for low tier, facing quite a few threats when it comes to uh, the low tier meta. One of the main ones on the board you can see is Yen Mega. But the entire roster we'll be facing this week is Empoleon, Decidueye, Mega Manetric, Flygon, Yen Mega, Scrafty, Galarian Rabidash, Garboder, Pyroar, Cryogonal, and Wailord. Now, I think this is a pretty solid team. Um, yeah, there's nothing else really much to say about that. Empoleon's a really reliable rocker. You have Rocks and Flygon too. Dual Spikes and Garbodor. Uh, really, really solid team. Uh, yeah, nothing more to say about that. Good speed Mega Manetric too. So, uh, Yen Mega is a terrifying wall breaker for this game. Uh, if it wants to be choice specs, obviously it will be four times a week that rocks, so rocks, rocks will be important. Um, but I do have decent ways of KOing it, it's just a matter of fact of whether it's picking up a KO or a one for one situation. So it'll be really important to get up rocks and pressure it, and if I do that, then also forces Empoleon or Decidueye to get off a Defog, which gives me some momentum, because I'm not really expecting Cryogonal to come this week, because Incineroar deals with it so well. And they don't have a good switch into Incineroar, which is the main thing to capitalize on. Um, Empoleon will be important for them because it deals with some of my special attackers. Uh, Mega Manetric gives them a lot of momentum. And of course my ground type is Steelix, so I'm very weak to the likes of Overheat and Flamethrower. So there's no reason not to bring Manetric. It pressures my team a lot. Um, I can see Flygon coming. Garbodor I think should come because um, it pressures Steelix with Body Press. And overall Poison Spam versus the rest of my team is pretty good. And... Um, Hazards is always good for any game that you come, whether it's T-Spikes or Spikes, Garbodor is a good bring for that. And Galarian Rabidash could be a scary setup breaker as well. So those are my takes immediately on all the Pokemon on the team. Um, I don't really know the exact six, six they would bring and specifically what they would be. Um, typically it's a lot easier to break down what their six most likely is once you see them. So. For my team, the first thing I noticed was how well Omastar does after a Shell Smash. Basically meaning, as long as there's not a Scarf Flygon after a Shell Smash, I just win. There's really hardly anything they can do about it. The only few checks are a very Spadef Shuckaberry Empoleon, or Spadef Yachiberry Decidueye, which I can easily check with my team. So I'm not worried about that whatsoever. So if I am able to get a Shell Smash off, which is the kind of the harder part, I really have to get it off on like Flygon um, after a parting shot maybe, or just Flygon if I know I'm not. It's not too heavily offensive like Life Orb or Choice Pan. Um, I can get it off versus Empoleon, but I have to hope they don't have Roar. I don't think really I care too much about Toxic because um, then I could just catch them on their switches. So I just have to watch out for Roar and Empoleon. I should be able to do it on Rabidash as long as it doesn't SD first. So, like, there's a few things, but, like, things like Manetric and Mega, I get blown back by, so I have to be aware of that. So, But overall, uh, Omastar can literally just win. So I'm keeping that in mind in my build and how I can set that up. Next up, we have Steelix. Uh, this is actually something that I wasn't uh, positive I was going to have at the initial part of my build. This was initially x but I 100% need Steelix. One, I need a Garbodor switch in. Two, I need something to stop Mega Manetric from just Volt switching every turn it comes out. So, have to bring it. Uh, plus, Stealth Rocks for uh, Yen Mega is also extremely important. So, it made a lot more sense in the end, but it's just the fact that they did not have a single switch into x apart from Empoleon. And originally, x was meant to be Boom Burst Choice Specs plus Earthquake. So, the Earthquake could break any Shaka on the Empoleon. As well as being scrappy to where I'm able to hit Decidueye if I need to get chip on that for Omastar. But I think Steelix is a lot better in the long run. Uh, Earthquake, Heavy Slam, and Head Smash are my three attacking moves. I'm running Rockhead with Head Smash so we can always pick up a KO on Yen Mega. Surprisingly, a Sheer Force Rock Slide would not pick up the KO on Yen Mega. So I actually need to go with Rockhead Head Smash. Um, obviously a little less accurate at 80% compared to Rock Slide's 90%. But if I can pick up the KO 100%, I am going to. So, in general, Steelix is uh, meant to help deal with Garbodor plus Manetric. I'm rocking the Oka Berry on Steelix to help versus the overheat that Manetric can output. That way that uh, Steelix is not just extremely weak at the start of the game. And I um, still have a Pokemon around for like Decidueye or Yanmega 
or a Galarian Rabidash, which could be a threat. So, like, Steelix does check quite a few things and gets me up rocks, which is extremely important in this matchup. So, And then next up, we have Incineroar rocking the Shaka Berry. I'm rocking Knockoff, Flare Blitz, Earthquake, and Parting Shot with the Intimidate ability. Uh, now, I originally had Heavy Duty Boots, but when I, the more I looked at it, their main rocker just being Empoleon. I don't really see Empoleon getting that main of a chance to get up rocks this game either, because everything on my team, except... Uh, Comfe is going to be able to get off good damage to where I can set up Omastar in the end game, anyways. So I'm not really worried about it. Um, so the Shuka allows me to take a hit from Flygon and either knock off on it or Parting Shot. It depends on what item it is. So like if it's Choice Ban, I want to knock it off 100%, um, and I'll still be able to take it, obviously with Shuka, especially if I had Shuka plus Intimidate. But I doubt it. So I'm not going to be switching in on Flygon with Incineroar most of the time. Um, Parting Shot's nice if it's Choice Scarf. It allows me to go out into Omastar, and if they click a physical move versus my Omastar as I Shell Smash versus them, uh, they give me my weak armor plus Shell Smash, so I outspeed literally everything possible on their team, and I could potentially just win. Other than that, Flare Blitz plus EQ, they have no switch-ins to. Originally, I had Close Combat, but Earthquake is actually a little bit better, uh, purely because it gives me a higher damage output on Mega Manetric. Oh, I don't know why I switched tabs there, I apologize on Mega Manetric, as well as uh, the Pyroar, the Garbodor, mainly the Garbodor is what I did it for, is so I have better damage on that. Because if they're Aftermath plus Rocky Helmet, I really do not want to be clicking Flare Blitz versus Garbodor. That's just basically going to kill my Incineroar then and there. So uh, we're, rock we're rocking a pretty spadef set to help versus Yen Mega along with Mega Manetric still. Uh, I don't really need too much otherwise. Uh, the bulk also lets me take a Scald into a Scarf Flygon Earthquake. Like, Scald, Scald and Porion into Scarf Earthquake Flygon. Way to trip up on my words there a little bit. Um, yep, not too special otherwise. The speed is, I believe... What the heck is the speed for? I guess to make sure I outspeed Empoleon. Yeah, because I think Empoleon 65 or whatever. Or anything that's trying to speed creep me. I can be able to get a little bit more speed on them. So nothing too special here. Um, just enough attack investment to be able to pick up a KO with Flare Bits on a few. To a KO with Earthquake, etc. Uh, this is a good way to break a Shaka on Empoleon. But in the end, like if you look at the team, they really have no switch in 2 Incineroar. If it's Garbodor, that's knockoff into EQ. If it's Empoleon, that's like knockoff into Earthquake or just spam Earthquake, period. Uh, if it's Flygon, then I get set up for Omastar. If it's Scrafty, Comfey comes in for free. So many things to capitalize on. Incineroar is really good in this matchup. Next up, we have Zoro, not Zuko. We got Zoro with the Gallade. I realized I typed in Zuko on my draft analysis. Uh, thank you to whoever pointed that out in the comments. But uh, yeah, uh, obviously I'm used to a lot more Avatar nicknames, but this is definitely meant to be Zoro the Pirate Hunter. So. Uh, we're rocking the Choice Scarf with the Justified Ability. Close Combat, Psycho Cut, Knock Off, and Triple Axel. Uh, my reasoning for Psycho Cut over Zen Headbutt is that Gallade is here for for sure damage. I do not want to miss, so I'm not rocking Zen Headbutt this week. If I wanted the damage output, then I would rock Zen. But I want to for sure hit my moves this week, so I'm rocking Psycho Cut. Uh, knock Off's really helpful just to get rid of items, and Triple Axel allows me to um, be able to deal with Yen Mega. So, Glade's really just good for that reason alone, to be able to have a Scarfer that outspeeds Mega Manetric, um, and just, um, in general, outspeeds majority of their team. It, it's mainly Mega Manetric, and to have another check to Yen Mega, if it's a max speed uh, choice specs Yen Mega, like, and I'm somehow struggling versus late game, at least Triple Axel can come in and pick up the KO on it, assuming I hit every hit. Um, <laughs> I'm not very lucky when it comes to Triple Axel hits majority of the time. Uh, so, in my Ascension game, I did land 6 out of 6, which was surprising, but we'll have to see. So, Gallade's really just a really good Scarf check this week, nothing more, nothing less. Um, I just needed to be able to outspeed specific Pokemon, be a revenge killer, force in specific Pokemon, etc, etc. So, next up is Comfey. This is a designated Scrafty check, as well as a potential Wincon. Um, I don't really know if it's going to be... The Wincon this week, I really still want it to be Omastar. Omastar is very specific though. Comfey can just set up if given the opportunity though, versus like a minus two Mega Manetric um, or something like that after rocking an overheat on Steelix or something. 
because uh, Comfey does have to worry about the likes of Garbodor plus Empoleon. If I'm able to weaken Empoleon and get rid of Garbodor, basically get rid of it, it, does, it can't exist if this Comfey is trying to win, then it's fine. So, But it definitely still has an opportunity. Rock and Pixie play for the most damage output, obviously with Draining Kiss, since it's only base 50, but you get the priority out of it and the healing, so it's very important. Um, my fourth move was a little bit hard to decide on, but it's just, I opted to go with Encore. My reasoning behind that is if I can lock something into a spe specific move um, that's about a KO Comfey or something, such as Gunk Shot from Carbador, then that allows Omastar to come in freely and get up a Shell Smash. So I feel like that's the best opportunity to get Omastar in, if it's not going to be Incineroar with Knockoff and Parting Shot. So. Keeping all of that in mind. And lastly, we have a Spadef Altaria to help support the team. This gives me a decent check to Yan Mega and Mega Manetric as well. Uh, Dual Wing Beat Earthquake covers basically their entire team. Uh, Dual Wing Beat with the 16 attack investment allows me to make sure I get it to a KO on Yan Mega. Um, Earthquake uh, obviously will let me potentially break Shaka on Empoleon and just get the most chip off on Empoleon, Garbodor, or Mega Manetric because it's possible Mega Manetric just comes hard in or they're just trying to spam Thunderbolt. Even though I'm freely to roost off Mega Manetric's damage, um, I can even roost versus uh, Yen Mega. Modest um, bug buzzes will be a little scary, Tinted Land, obviously, but uh, I feel like majority of the time they might just click Air Slash versus my team, but we'll have to see. So that rocks it for the team. Once again, the Wincon is most likely going to be Omastar, and everything else is kind of support for that. I could see. Uh, Glade having a Choice Scarf win and just cleaning up late game if possible. Um, I could see Incineroar being a really good breaker in early game. And Comfey could potentially clean up late, but uh, once again, I'm trying to set up that Omastar, so. And with the battle going underway, as you can see here, uh, you can see what they opted to bring in the Mega, Mega Manetric, uh, Scrafty, Empoleon, Decidueye, Yon Mega, and... Galarian Rabidash. Now, I was a little surprised to see the Galarian Rabidash, uh, especially over Flyon, but uh, I knew that it was a good potential breaker versus me. It's kind of hard to switch into, and it's a really good speed tier versus my team. Uh, the only thing I have uh, ab above base 100 speed is obviously Ninjask at base 160. So, uh, apart from Scarfers, uh, Rabidash does outspeed my entire team. So, Plus, not being weak to comb face priority. Uh, that's important to keep in mind, but if that's not a bulky um, Rabidash, then Triple Axel from Glade still two it KOs uh, that Galarian Rabidash, uh, assuming I get uh, three hits each time. So, Looking at it though, since there is no Flygon, their only rocker 100% is Empoleon. Scrafty is looking like a defensive check, but it could still be set up, so I have to keep that in mind. Uh, Scrafty can always swing either way. Mega Manetric, just going to be very standard. Uh, Decidueye, I'm not positive what Decidueye would bring, be. I was really honestly not expecting it to come. Like, it's a decent defogger potentially versus my team. But, like, Incineroar hard walls it. <laughs> like, ridiculously hard. But, um, yeah. So we have to see where that goes. Yeah, Mega, my bet is still on choice specs. It could be speed boost, uh, heavy duty boots. But choice specs makes more damage and makes more sense to me, in my opinion. So, obviously, with all this in mind, uh, Incineroar deals with their Scarf lead and Polion, as well as if they just want a hard lead Yen Mega, because Incineroar will take any hit and knock it out with uh, Flare Blitz. So, Incineroar just has the best matchup versus their entire team, and that's why I opt to lead it. As they go into their Manetric, I'm going to switch right out in Steelix here and stop the potential Volt Switch immediately. Um, they got the Intimidate. And they just protect. I'm going to uh, just go for Earthquake here because I take the Overheat, obviously. And um, obviously, I wouldn't KO because the minus attack from the uh, Intimidate. But I get off enough chip. And then, uh, if assuming they were Overheat, I would be able to take the second one again. So then I could click Earthquake again or just get up rocks. So they go into Yen Mega here. And I was like, cool. I just click Head Smash and I kill it. But I have to make sure, one, I don't get flinched by Air Slash, and two, I land it. But with the uh, minus attack, make sure I did not get a for sure KO. So this was actually, I believe, a higher roll, too. 
Um, I believe it was like 92% was the min. So I definitely should have looked into investing a little bit more into the attack for Steelix because this was a pretty obvious thing that could have happened. So we don't pick up the KO on Yamega, but it's basically almost dead. Um, it can stay in and just click Air Slash again 100%. Especially since this is like obviously my rocker on this team, which Bob should realize. So I'm going to go Altaria to sack it. It does click Air Slash knowing that would be the scenario. Or not sack Altaria, but just be a switch in. As I roost there just in case. I go for Earthquake, trying to break this thing. Shaka does not show Shaka, nor shows Lefty, as, as it goes for a Toxic versus my Natural Cure, uh, Altaria. So I was like, okay, this is fine. Nothing that bad. Um, I can honestly just uh, go for another Earthquake and wear this thing down, as it follows up with an Ice Beam. And I'm like, why is this thing carrying Ice Beam? I'm not expecting that at all. I was expecting, like, Scald, Stealth Rock, Toxic, and then Roar be able to deal with any setup that it might want to bring this week because of that health versus Comfe, health versus Omastar, etc, etc. So I was really surprised to see that. Turns out later it had um, safety goggles. So it's running Ice Beam and safety goggles to be a designated switch in the Rose Raid, which makes sense. They don't have the best Rose Raid switch in on their team. As you can see, uh, Rose Raid actually goes pretty well in, but I knew Empoleon was going to be a hard check for that, so I didn't really care about it this week, to be honest. I'm going to switch out... Uh, the Altaria, because it can be helping later on, as they may go in the Rabidash, which is terrifying. Uh, so I go right into Incineroar. Plus one after a Sword Stance. I know I could take a high horsepower because my Shaka Berry. Um, and Flare Blitz gets off a lot of damage and puts it in the range of Comfey after, to where I don't really have to stress about this thing. Or I can go into Glade and I just start clicking Knock Off or something, so I'm not really too worried as long as I get off this damage. They go for Play Rough. We take that very well as I go for Flare Blitz. They live on 12. And then uh, I get a little back. So, But they opt to go for a healing wish here. I was like, oh no. And then, yep, yeah, Mega comes back full health. I was like, I have to deal with this thing again. I go into Sack uh, Altaria. They do miss an Air Slash, which is surprising. And then I go into Comfa here. I'm trying to just immediately start setting up. Because assuming I don't get flinched. Yeah, that's right. Crazy, right? Assuming you don't get hacked. Uh, Comfa just wins here. If they freely stay in and just try to go for the crit spam and let me set up, Comfe can just win. Um, typically, they'll probably expect one of my uh, other moves to be Aromatherapy, so like that doesn't even give them the thought of going hard into Empoleon and clicking Toxic, unless they still have Roar and Empoleon, it's possible, but um, I opt to go for the Calm Minds here, as they go for Air Slash and Miss again. So uh, this would have done about, I think, 60 to me. Obviously, because the next hit is going to do oh, 35, so that would have actually been doing 50. So, it would have been a round of 2 at KO. But, um, obviously, I would have been able to synthesis up in front of Yen Mega. And then we'd be in the same scenario right here. It's just like get a bonus Call Mine for free. That's all it really comes down to. Um, I still beat the Yen Mega 1v1, assuming there's no crits or flinches. So, I go for a Draining Kiss here as they switch out, luckily. Because I would have been able to 2 a KO the Yen Mega and gotten my health back. And we able to 2 kill the Empoleon. So we get rid of any potential thought of a roar. And this is looking really solid. Um, I call mind again because Decidueye has really good special defense. And it should be able to eat these draining kisses pretty well. Especially when I go for it here and see that is max special defense. Uh, no lefties or anything. It turns out it was Yachi Berry. So I wasn't even able to sweep with Omastar until getting a chip off on this thing actually. So it made sense because they literally just lost to Omastar on paper. Since that wasn't Shaka Empoleon either. Uh, so, only one check to Omastar was kind of weird though, because this is fully offensive Scrafty too. This is not even special defensive, or like even the slightest bit bulky. So, if I was able to get the um, Shell Smash off versus like Rabidash or something, then, uh, well, I mean, I still needed some chip on the Sidroi because I was doing like 75 uh, with their Yachi or something. Maybe less because they were max enough. Either way, I wouldn't need a chip of some sort. But yeah, Comfe basically just wins now. We just click Draining Kiss over and over, and that does it for the entire match. Um, this is why I could not pass up on this Pokemon when it came to me, like, end of round 6, round 7. That's wild. Comfe is too good in low tier. It just was not at the top of my uh, priority list for drafting that game. Or, sorry. Or, like, at the initial part of the draft. 
So the fact that I was able to pick it up and then it picks up five kills in the first week is amazing. Uh, unfortunately, no 6-0 because of Altaria, but uh, still really good. Uh, Bob was surprised, thought that was an easy win with for them. Didn't say it there, but uh, I don't know why Bob thought it was an easy win for them. They didn't really have a see-through win con versus my team. They did check my win con with the Sidui, but they didn't bring Garbodor, which they 100% should have brought purely for Comfey. Um, I think that would have been smarter over like the Scrafty or something. But yeah, so nothing too special there. Comfey just did Comfey things. That's what it'd be doing. So you'll probably see a sweep like this happen again, but I'm assuming people will prep for it a little bit better this time uh, because it's a little bit easier to check in Draft League, but this is a, one of my favorite things that I used on the RU ladder as well last gen. Really, really good Pokemon. So really happy about that 5-0 win. Looking forward to next week, which is going to be a lot harder because uh, next week I get to face a Regilecki. Ha <laughs> ha! Because we did tears in like the few hours after the DLC came out. And we didn't realize how strong Transistor was and how important Regilecki's speed is. And we allowed Regilecki legal in low tier. And not only legal, but only 8 points out of 18. I'm not happy. Yeah, so next week, if I lose, I'm not going to be surprised. I would like to pick up the win because I don't think my schedule... Well, I shouldn't even discount my opponents like that, because I'm facing a lot of new people in low tier. Um, my schedule doesn't seem that hard to me, but a matchup versus Regilecki immediately makes it difficult. Plus, Surfetch and Swellow, so <laughs> get ready for a crazy match next week, I'll say that much. But um, And leave a like for Comfey, and let me know what you think of Comfey's little flowers. But Alright, sub, like, share, deuces.